shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mojo I reach through mysterious ceilings My holy hope Hello, bookish friends. Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena, if you are new here. And I post all things bookish. I haven't done a formal intro like this in a little while, so I just figured let me do one now that over there. I post lots of bookish content, some lifestyle content, and basically everything in between. So I hope you're ready to tag along with me. Welcome to the weekly vlog. I post weekly vlogs every single Monday for the most part. There might be some days that it falls on like a Sunday or a Tuesday, but for the most part it's every Monday. And then Thursdays and or Fridays are always going to be like special bonus content, I like to call it, where it's not necessarily bookish, it could be travel, it could be a random like spend the day with me. It definitely could be bookish. Like I'll be posting a gift guide, my TBR videos go up on Thursdays or Fridays. Welcome and I hope you guys are ready for a great week. I'm ready to have a great week. These last two weeks, the last two vlogs have been short and sweet at like 30 minutes each. One week was just not a great week and then the other week I was pretty sick. So this week we're back to normal for the most part. I am a little congested. I just think it's the hot and the cold and like yesterday was up in the 60s and 70s. Today it's going to be like warm-ish and then it's going to drop down to the 30s. So it's just this time of year, I can't escape it. I just finished up my Bible study. I did my Duolingo. I do, I'm trying this week to do all of my streaks early in the morning. I know that sounds like Snapchat. I do not use Snapchat. Bible app has streaks. Duolingo has streaks. This app that I use called Glorify has streaks and now the sun, of course, is going to come out. I hope it's not too bright for you guys. It's really bright for me. I'm probably going to look washed out. So yeah, the Bible app, Duolingo, this app called Glorify that I use. And I do have to read a little bit so that way I can update Storygraph and Fable because they also do streaks. So I need to get reading. This week I am setting a big goal for myself. I have to finish Addie LaRue like... ASAP and get that video up for you guys on Thursday. I need to finish Belladonna before I literally like throw my Kindle out the window because I've been reading this book for so long and I'm only on like 30%. So I just need to get it done. And then this week I also would like to at least start and if I can't finish it that's okay. I want to start Lost and Lassoed. I do have some other library books that I actually need to get up, move on but this one is calling to me. I need to read this one because it just came out. So that's the plan for this week. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to have a great week and take you along with me. So I am now going to read The Invisible Life and give that vlog some thoughts because I haven't updated that vlog in like two days. I need to update that vlog. And I'll see you all later when I have a reading update because I haven't read anything yet today. So I don't have a reading update. But And the sun is like goodness i can't see so i'll see you guys later when i can see hi friends happy tuesday don't look at my hair it's still up from sleeping last night we're gonna just pretend it's in a cute like 90s ponytail hi happy tuesday like i just said i have been in the trenches of work all day today have not read anything besides my bible study have not really taken much of a break so that's how I'm starting my break today, is checking with you guys, saying happy Tuesday. I am about to go take an everything shower and get ready for today because I did not do that. I went for a walk this morning. Listen, I had a very productive morning. I did get up at like just before 7, so it was like 6.55. I really wanted to be up at 6.30, but I was just tired. And I was like, you know what? I, I need another like 20, 25 minutes of sleep. So I got up just before 7, made coffee, did my Bible study, Went for a walk. I'm trying to do morning walks and take advantage of the morning sunlight because that's supposed to be the best form of vitamin D for you. So I went for a walk from 8 to 8.40, 8.35. I did just under two miles. I wanted to go for two, but my back was starting to bother me because girl things. So I said, you know what? I'll just stop. I'll go home. I'll have breakfast. And 
take care of what I need to take care of before the workday started. So that's what I did. I got some work done this morning and now I'm finally taking a break. So I'm gonna go take an everything shower. I don't need to wash my hair though, so maybe it's like an everything minus shampoo and conditioner shower, just to kind of like feel something and to feel good. I'm cooking dinner tonight, which is exciting. I am, we usually do tacos like every week, but they're not like really tacos. They're like mini burritos. So I wanna do like actual tacos today. So I said, I'm taking over tacos. And I wanna do like all the different fixings, I guess you could say, or toppings in like little bowls. And I haven't decided whether we're gonna do beef or chicken, but like we need to decide soon because I need to go to the store on my lunch break, which is why I've been waiting so long to take lunch because nobody's answered me about preference on meat. We usually do beef, but I also put chicken out there as an option. So I'm waiting to see what the people want. The people meaning my family, what they want. Um, what else can I tell you about today? I've been on a new podcast kick. Also, I've been on this whole like, I'm taking back my health. Like, I'm gonna fight anybody that tells me otherwise um, kick. So I want to incorporate that into vlogs and into YouTube, but I don't know whether to incorporate it into like the weekly vlogs or whether you guys would want like separate videos for it because I want to document that journey also. I just don't know whether it fits in with the weekly vlogs because weekly vlogs are more like book and lifestyle and this is like health and fitness. It's almost its own separate like content pillar and category. So let me know your thoughts because I want to document that. I just don't know whether it's weekly vlog content or should be other content and whether that's gonna be sustainable for me long-term to post like, I don't think it would be weekly. Mm, maybe it would be weekly because I would want to give you guys that, like all of it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. I'm also gonna post on Instagram and see if I can get some feedback from y'all over there um because I like getting I like trying to pull feedback out of my communities I love my communities dearly but I notice we're not the most vocal so asking for feedback I usually just hear crickets so I think the more I post that I want feedback the more people will feel comfortable responding I'm hoping that's how I would like to see this community operate so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to put something out there again See if I get any takers on, on feedback. And then if not, I have to like really think it through because I'm already posting two videos a week. So maybe this third video would be like once a month or every other week. I don't know. I just feel like it would be a lot. Like the vlog would be rather long if I did two weeks of what I'm doing to like take ownership of my health and working out and nutrition and supplements and I don't know. I, but I do, I do want to document it and I do want to post it. So I need to figure that out. And that's part of what I'm going to figure out today. I started working on 2025 goals. I know, I know it's like kind of early, but I feel like it's good to get them done early so that you can start working on them before the new year starts. So that way when January 1st hits, you already know what you're doing. And that's another video that I would like to post also is what my 2025 goals are, what I'm doing to organize them, because I feel like it's so easy to write them down in a notebook, close the notebook and then forget about them. So I'm going to definitely be posting that one here once I get my system going. I've started a system and I'm really excited to tell you guys about that system. And I just need to like work out a couple more of the kinks before I make a whole video about it. So yeah, 2025, I think there's like less than 60 days left in the year. I was just watching a new YouTuber that I just discovered. Her YouTube is Lena Lifts and she's based in New York City. And I was like, whoa, wait a second. This is so crazy. I love finding people that are based in New York City because like, I don't, like I'm not based in New York City but I am so close to the city that I'm just like, yeah, let me end with them.
I, I could be New York City if I really wanted to, or the suburbs of New York. It, it takes me like an hour to get into the city, so that's why I'm like, I'm just so close, it's fine. I've yapped now for seven minutes, so I am going to go restart the day, charge my Apple Watch because it's now on 10%. You ever, like, those of you that have an Apple Watch, I do you think that the vibration of when it's dying is like the world's gonna end? I, it vibrates as if like the world's gonna end. It's okay, it just needs to be charged. So I'm gonna go do that, take a shower, and I will see you all later when I'm cooking dinner. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know I was so invested in, oh my goodness, this is Claire on my glasses. I'm not used to that. That's really crazy. My old lenses definitely did not do that. Weird. Okay. Anyway, I finished The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue today. So I was, oh my goodness, this Claire. All right. I have to like bypass that. It makes me look like I have green eyes. Like bright, like demonic. Oh my gosh, green eyes. Okay then, what if I come over here? Okay, maybe it's just the lighting. I think it's just the lighting. Okay, let's let's try this again. I just finished Addie LaRue earlier today, so I was racing all day to finish it, to finish that vlog, so to finish the book, to finish the vlog to edit the footage and past me I have to give like a ginormous pat on the back and she gets like a forehead kiss too because I started editing this vlog several days ago and I forgot and I thought I was gonna have to go through like 45 minutes worth of footage in like three hours and edit and upload and it takes me a little while to edit and I had something to do tonight and then I was just like oh my goodness I'm gonna be up late but no I got through 27 out of the 37 minutes over the weekend and then just added on another 10 minutes today. So yay! Give myself a big pat on the back for that. So I'm waiting for it to export now. I started exporting videos in 4k when I remember to do it. The last couple I didn't remember but today I did. So it's taking forever to export it's on 36 percent and also um final cut pro is doing this real great thing where it's crashing on my computer but not crashing on my laptop anytime i go to export on my computer it's crashing i have a mac mini an m the one chip m2 chip i don't know it came out in 2020 so if anybody knows why it would possibly be crashing let me know. I am writing a beta on it. That could be why. But I don't think so. Because it was working. And then it stopped. So I don't know. And I think I'm running a beta on my laptop too. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway. That's what's going on now. I basically have to sit up and wait. Because I want this video to go live tomorrow morning. And in order for it to go live tomorrow morning, it has to be uploaded tonight. So it's at now 38%. So I think I'm going to read Belladonna. I haven't read Belladonna in at least a week. I still think I remember what's going on though. So I'm going to read that and 
get all this YouTube stuff done. Go to bed. I have blood work tomorrow morning, so I'm trying to sleep until like I have to get up. So that way I don't have coffee and eat. Ugh, I don't know why I scheduled it for 10.30. Because I normally have breakfast at like 9.30. So your girl's gonna be hungry in the morning. Maybe we'll get Duncan. Oh my goodness. I need to go to bed. But I need to stay up and get this done. Okay, let's go because if I just keep here, sitting here stalling, I'm just not gonna say anything because that's how tired I am. So, I'll see you all in the morning. <laughs> I am getting ready. So I'm using you all as a mirror. Um, really, it's just doing my hair because I have a meeting at 9.30. I am so happy it's Friday. You all have no idea. I'm so happy it's Friday. But this week also went like so fast. And I was editing this vlog last night. It's only 16 minutes long so far. And it, it's gonna be probably only be like a half hour and I feel bad because like it's been a great week but I have just been like work 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 oh my goodness I cannot braid fun fact when I was in I love telling this story I when I was in elementary school I had some friends I, ha I have friends now don't don't worry I have friends now um some friends were starting a club and in order to join the club in the club um oh my goodness i have been on social media way too much also this week for you to join said why am i tweaking okay um in order for you to join the club you had to know how to braid so I took it upon myself to learn. I think I like freaking got a book out of the library. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm struggling right now. This is about to go on a bon. I think it's because now I'm feeling the pressure of like braiding in front of the camera. Um, I just think that's what's going on right now. Also, if you don't have one of these the continuous like sprays, what are you doing? Go get yourself one. Um, yeah, so in order to join the club, I'm literally just gonna put this in a bun and I'm gonna look like a bald man all day in my meetings. You had to know how to braid. So yes, I took it upon myself as a, as a small child to learn how to braid. And yeah, it's just gonna go on a bun. Um, I learned how to do it. And as you guys know, my hair is like a wild child. Like she's got her own brain. So... I can only imagine what it was like for a little me to try to learn how to braid, but I did. And now all I do is braid. I'll do like little braids on the top of my head. I'll do French braids. I can do the Dutch braids, but I guess I need a mirror to get me started. And the camera is just not doing it justice. So it's gonna go in a bun and it's gonna stay in a bun all day. It's Friday, oh my goodness. Okay, it's Friday. And okay, that's what I was saying before too. So. This week, it's been a great week. And I know I give you guys like my week readings. It's been a, a great week, but it hasn't been like vlog heavy because I've really just been in the trenches of vlogging and editing and uploading the Invisible Life vlog. So if you're in my book club, even if you're not in my book club and you just wanna see my thoughts and my review on the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, go check out that video. It's gonna be linked in one of these. I never remember on my screen, like when I'm filming, which corner is going to be linked in, but you'll see a little pop-up somewhere and you can go watch that video. This weekend, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So today, I have no plans tonight and I just remembered that and that's great. So today is going to be reading. Reading, reading, reading. We're going to do the whole reading, reading. How many times am I going to say reading? Maybe sprints tonight? That's a big question mark. The problem I'm having with doing live streams and sprinting is that I sit in front of this computer in this screen all day. Eight hours a day, eight and a half hours a day. 
uh, just kidding, I take a lunch break for an hour. Okay, so seven and a half hours a day. I'm sitting here. I don't really want to sit here for another three to sprint. It's like 12 hours in front of the computer and I am not about that. So that's kind of why I haven't been live streaming, but I really do want to stream. I think I need to do it on the weekend when the weekends aren't so busy. So I'm going to try to plan that for December or maybe next Sunday do a stream over the holiday weekend because I think a lot of people will be home. This Sunday I can, but maybe the following. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Okay, so my brain's all over the place. I talked about my hair and <laughs> we talked about this week and why I haven't been talking to you all because I was talking to the Invisible Life vlog, but now I'm back to talking to you all because I finished that book edited that video, put it up. I also filmed, edited, and uploaded. I've been like, y'all are gonna get the content, especially in December, you're gonna get the content. I filmed, edited, and uploaded a gift guide, a bookish gift guide. Also, it can double as like for the cozy person in your life. Um, that's gonna go up on Wednesday. So you'll see this video first and then you'll go see that video on Wednesday. And then I have a TBR video that I need to, how is it already the end of the month? Oh my goodness. I have to do a TBR video this week and, or early next week. Edit that and get it up for you on Friday or Saturday. I think Saturday, because I didn't want to put it up for like Thanksgiving, Black Friday. I feel like people are busy. So I'll do my TBR video on Saturday. And that's what's going on. And then December, oh my goodness. Y'all are gonna get a lot of content in December. I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday as of right now. And I had posted a poll. I think I talked about this the other day that I was gonna post a poll, so I posted it. And it was like, I have to check the final results, but basically neck and neck between daily YouTube vlogs and daily Instagram vlogs. But if I do the daily Instagram vlogs, I'm not doing the daily YouTube vlogs. So I have to see what won. And then I'm probably going to do reels also. Maybe every day or every other day. I have to I have to make sure that this is like not gonna burn me out because I've been loving YouTube and the last thing I want is for me to push and do all this content and then to get burnt out. So I have to just make sure that it's sustainable and attainable because I think in January I'm gonna go back down to two. December I do wanna push for three because I have a really big goal and I wanna hit a thousand subscribers, that's my goal. So I think getting more content out there and more eyes on my content will be beneficial. Even though it's not about the numbers, I, that's just a milestone I would like to achieve. I'm just loving growing this community and getting videos out to you all. I think it's just been phenomenal. So what else do I have to chat about? I don't have any reading updates. If you want the reading updates, go watch the Addie LaRue vlog because that's all I've read the last few days. And I rated it four and a half stars. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, it took me a little while to get into, but once I got into it, I was like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get into it. So I did like that. And the ending left me wanting so much more. Like I, I would love a book too. So yeah, I just feel empty and I need a book too. So go watch that vlog. I think I've said that like three times already in this eight minute long clip. Go watch it. And then um, we're gonna talk about Belladonna tonight. I think tonight will be a great night to read. So yeah, thumbs up for that. All right, I gotta go to work, AKA just go behind me and start working for the day and catch up on some YouTube while I work. And I'll see you all later, maybe on my lunch break. We gotta talk about, yeah, we're gonna, we'll see you on my lunch break because I need to eat then, read, and maybe go for a walk if it's not gonna rain again. It looks like it's gonna rain, which is good because we haven't had rain. It rained yesterday all day. And then before that it hadn't rained in like two months. So I'm- Hello, Mona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows. And I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Mona. I push back the serious healing, the ends unknown. To get back the life I used to know.
past and the I just learned that that one setting that I would thought, well, you guys are already going to see that. So I had thought that there was this one particular setting that it didn't like crop in when I started filming and it just stayed zoomed out. So I was like, okay, great. Like I could walk around with the camera. Like this is going to be great. Like turns out that setting films in slow motion four times as slow. So I'm going to try to use the B-roll. I don't think it's going to work. Absolutely no talking is going to happen. So I will give you guys the speed updates to what I thought were some great updates before. I am on my lunch break. I'm listening to Mistborn because I'm jumping into a brand new fantasy world. And meanwhile, I should still finish Crescent City. I still have the last book to read. So I really should finish that before jumping into a new world. But here I am starting a new world because everybody else is reading Brandon Sanderson. And I was like, I have Mistborn. I might as well just start with it. So the reading schedule or schedule, the reading list that I'm following starts with Mistborn. So I am going to continue with Mistborn. I know some people start in other spots, but to me, seeing so many people start with Mistborn and I think even Brandon Sanderson recommended starting with Mistborn. I have to watch the video and just make sure. But from his website, it looks like Mistborn was the first place to start. I am going to start with Mistborn since I do own it. I have the audio of it. It expires in like three days. So I'm really trying to like get moving with it. I'm about 40 minutes into the book so far. No real plot. I know they're plotting something and we're learning more about the characters and I feel like it's a lot of world building and info dumping right now so nothing's really going on I just know that they're staying at this hotel there's a meeting about to happen somebody's suspicious about this meeting so that's it so far that's all I got for you I am curious about this one I'm also very excited to get into this world because I've just seen so many great things about it and I want to know what the great things are so like I said I am on my lunch break I and cleaning my room. I just made my bed. I just like pulled the, the blankets up and made it look nice. I organized my library books. I am about to find where I am in the book, like the actual physical book for Miss Bourne to match it up with the audio. And what else can I tell you? Oh, because I don't think this update, I think this update was in slow-mo. I received a monitor lamp, right? Monitor light, monitor lamp. It's kind of like a lamp in the mail from a brand and they had asked me to post on Instagram about it. So I unboxed it today and I set it up, but I'm going to use it for a couple of days to see how I like it. And then I'll be posting about it on either Monday or Tuesday. And then I'll talk to you guys in the next weekly vlog about it too. I think I'm going to end up really liking it. So far I do like it and it's doing its thing. It, there's like an auto sensor on it. So I think it just turned off actually. So I wanted to test that out. So I'm trying not to be like close to my desk because I wanted to see the auto feature work. And so far I do like it, but I want to use it for a couple more days before I post about it because it is expensive. And I try to make sure, well, I always do make sure that all of my reviews and things that I recommend to you guys are genuine. People don't like pay me to post things. I post out of my own love for the product. And if I don't love it, I have no problem saying like, hey, I didn't like this. so I'm not going to post about it. So that's why I'm waiting and not just jumping into, guys, go get this monitor light if you need light for your workspace. I know I do. So this is actually going to be very nice. I want to see it at night and I want to see it more so like on a sunnier day because today it looks like it's going to snow. So that's why I want to wait a couple days before I post about it. And I also need to get my Christmas decorations out for my shelves and my desk. I have them with my business stuff and my storage. So I need to go there, get them and bring them over here. It has some like trees and I think maybe like a Christmas mug or two. So I just wanna get those and decorate my desk before I post an updated picture of my desk setup. So enough chatting now because I've chatted for like 10 minutes between the videos that didn't work in this one. So I'm gonna get back to listening to Mistborn and I'll catch you all later tonight because I want to be productive on my lunch break, get as much done as I can, and listen to as much as I can. So I'll see you all later. Show me where the ending goes on it. Can we just take a moment and look at how stunning
stunning. This latte came out because she's gorge. Fun fact, I actually started using regular milk instead of almond milk in my lattes. Because I found out I can just use regular milk. I don't have to use almond milk if I don't want to. And I like the taste with regular milk as opposed to almond milk. For the longest time, I thought that I had a dairy intolerance, but I can eat cheese. I could eat ice cream. So I've always wondered like, what is it about milk? I think there still is maybe, I don't know, maybe something about milk, but maybe not because I've discovered that I can have a latte with regular milk. She's literally stunning. She could steal the show. She really could. And it doesn't bother my stomach. So fun fact, try it out. Don't be afraid. I know some people can't have animal products because it messes with their stomach and they're like actually allergic to it, but I was never like actually diagnosed allergic to it. It was just preference. And now I prefer regular milk. So yeah, that's a commercial break for you. I gotta get back to work. So I just wanna come on and give a commercial break. I've had such a productive day, like so productive. I'm shocked for a Friday how productive I've been. So it's gonna be a good weekend. And I like getting all this stuff done before the holiday too. I get major holiday brain. So, all right, back to productivity. Let's go. The hands on to get back the life I used to know. I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Saturday. She does not want to cooperate. Okay, well, I was just sitting here reading Belladonna and I need to get up and get ready because we have an event with the teens at our church today, which I will be briefly taking you guys along on. Um, but it looks cold out. So I think I'm gonna have to break out the winter jacket, which all November it's been warm and I haven't needed a winter jacket, but I think today because we're gonna be outside for so long. I am going to pull out the winter coat. So I, let me just my arm. I need to put a tripod on this thing. So that way I don't have to just use all my arm strength. Um, what else is going on today? I think that's it. I gotta do some more editing. I just got the audiobook for 11.22.63 and also realized I didn't post it yesterday and I probably should have, but I'm gonna start it today, I think. But I don't know, because now I'm starting Belladonna. I mean, well, I've already started Belladonna. So I'm in the middle of Belladonna. And I started Mistborn. And then 112263. And I have some ooh, I have some library books that need to go back. Like tomorrow. So yeah, I got a lot of reading to do. But I think Mistborn and Belladonna are gonna be the priorities. I can't, I literally can't with my hair. Mistborn and Belladonna are gonna be the priorities because Mistborn's due in two days i think two days either three days or two days belladonna i've just been reading for way too long and honestly i need to get it done and now it's getting good so i'm gonna bring my kindle with me and maybe read a little bit while we watch the kids play football and yeah in the car listen to either or both 
So that's the plan for today. I'm gonna get ready to go now. So that way I don't look like I just rolled out of bed. And I will see you all when I'm not looking <laughs> so rough. Okay, I feel so much better now than I did when I made that first clip. Also, I literally just got out of the shower, so don't mind my shaggy hair. This is what happens until it dries. I am going to be leaving soon for what we're calling the turkey bowl for the teens at my church. And I am just sitting here updating my Notion because I have started to use Notion as like my um, life dump, I guess. So I just put everything in Notion or I at least try to as much as I can put everything in Notion. That way it's all in one spot. I have my 2024 planner. And then I also have a social media planner. I don't keep them in the same hub or the same planner because, oh my God, sorry, I need to stop touching my hair. Um, I don't keep them in the same planner because it just becomes a lot. So like between life stuff and all of the like meetings and tasks and like just things that I personally need to do as a human being I like seeing all that stuff separate from all the social media stuff that I have to do because there's a lot of social media stuff and my calendar just gets infiltrated with stuff. So I keep them separate and then they all, I think they all merge together in my Google Calendar because I have separate calendars for separate things. So if I want to hide like Instagram or if I want to hide like something for I don't know like if I wanted to hide something I could in Google Calendar but I can't do that here in Notion so I like to keep them separate. I need to reset the board. Board? I call it a board. I need to reset it for next week and I like to do that on Saturday even though these calendars run like some of the, like my habit trackers run Monday to Saturday that's just how the person that created this template did it. I wish I could change it to someday. I don't think I can. Oh, I so can. Yeah, I so can. So I just need to actually sit down and do that. And that's why I haven't like talked about Notion on here yet because I have a lot of tweaking to do still. Once I get all the tweaking done, then I will update you guys on what I have going, but I need to leave now. So, I'll see you all at the turkey bowl and we're gonna try not to freeze. I have this really great hat hair going on. So I like flipped my hair. You can, you can so see the dent from where I was wearing the hat. So we're just gonna keep that back there and pretend I don't have hat hair. I am still defrosting from being outside all morning, but it was great, it was a great time. I just made a hype video and posted that on the Instagram page we use to keep the teens up to date on all the things going on. And now I am working on my Google Calendar for the week. And then once I have that squared away, I will copy it into Notion. I like to plan it in Google Calendar first because I can see the week view instead of just, the, I don't know, like the week view with the hourly breakdown instead of just looking at all the days. So that's what I'm doing now and I'm listening to Mistborn. I'm just learning about the magic system. I'm 22% in and they're going through, yeah, the magic system and the metals, the purpose of each metal and if you burn it, what happens? Um, and that's really it. I feel like this whole first chunk has been like a big round table discussion and I'm here for it. So I'm actually gonna go back to listening to it now and finish up my tasks for the week. I go for next week, getting back to the gym for the first time since the summer. I'm nervous. I have like new gym anxiety over it, but it's gonna be good. Once I get in there, once I get comfortable again, um, it's gonna be like I never left. So, all right, I'm gonna get back. To listening and then I will catch you guys later and I will wrap this video up and start another one. 
So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, people, I'm actually going to end this video here because the rest of the night I am going to be out and probably doing a whole lot of nothing. So there won't be much to vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video with me. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.